Hi, I'm Lori Pratico, and I'm so proud to be here at the Art Center for the judging of the Persistence Show, number five. Um, the show gets so many entries that are so powerful and so strong, and it's so difficult to pick the winners because, honestly, I love them all. Um, it's really wonderful to see this many strong, capable female artists and to recognize them in this way with this show. Um, I hope you will enjoy it. I'm going to start with the honorable mentions. The first honorable mention goes to Audrey Cowles, Cowles in a Hat series. Um, you really can't look at this piece, it's a photograph, without smiling. It's, it's really well done, the composition. Um, I was fortunate enough to see the other pieces in this series and would have loved to include every single one in the show, um, but we chose our favorite and um, it's just like a classic, looks like a classic oil painting but done in photography and it's just done so well. Our second honorable mention goes to Melanie Berry from Parkton, Maryland for When the Cow is Free. It is a mosaic piece and I would assume that it kind of takes reference to a bull in a china shop since it's um, all broken pieces of china and it's just so exquisitely done and really deserves a closer look when you come to the gallery to see it. goes to Emily Grace McCoy for Holy. This piece was one of those pieces that, as I walked around the space in the gallery, I just kept coming back to. Um, it's very striking. It really made me feel something. And I commend the artist on this work. I think it's absolutely beautifully done. And I would like to award honorable mention to Jean Benvenuto uh, from Portsmouth, Virginia for her piece, Bliss, after Artemisia Genelishi. Um, Jean has two pieces in the show. Her work is phenomenal. Um, her technical ability with oils and her, just, her composition is really extraordinary um, in every piece she does. So we want to appreciate and honor her for this work. And now we will present the awards. I would like to award third place to Jenny Davis from Fairfax, Virginia um, of her, for her watercolor called Reckoning. Um, watercolor is such a difficult medium to work with and this is done so well. Um, every detail and just the composition of the piece with the classic painting in the background and then a piece of modern day in the, in the forefront. It's just really, really well done and congratulations on third place. Second place is awarded to Greta Ruiz from Santa Fe, New Mexico for her ceramic piece called Sisters. Um, it's so beautifully done and executed. The interweaving of the material and the clay that she used and the juxtaposition of the bodies, it's just really, really magnificent. We have two pieces of hers in the show and congratulations on second place. Washington, D.C. Justine addresses racism in her work, and this piece, you really have to see this piece in person. Um, it is a 
a revision of an FBI, actual FBI poster. But these are each panels of wood held on by bullets. And the wood is stained and pigmented, and it's just really well done. It has a contemporary feel, um, yet has a sense of classicness to it as well. Um, and I just think it's a, a really great representation of what she, the message that she's trying to get out. So first place. It's been such an honor to be part of this show, Persistence, and at this gallery, the Art Center, watching the Art Center grow and move into this beautiful space, um, and to see all the work that comes each year. I, I will miss the show. Um, it's really been an honor to be a part of it and to be able to just be involved with this community and part of the Neon Arts District Art Community. Thank you.